Hi, today we're going to have a look at how we can create dependable drop down menus. What I mean by dependable, have a look at this example. If we select, let's say, mail from the first menu, then the following menu is filled up with some uh, specific uh, results. So we can pick something from this second menu. Once we've picked something from this second menu, the next one becomes active and we have a selection, which is basically referring to our previous selection. So uh, these following drop-down menus, the values which are uh, displayed within these menus depend on the previous selection. That's why it's dependable. So let's say I'm going to change it to select one now, all of the drop-down menus following the, the one which I've just changed the uh, value of become disabled. And that applies as well to the other option if we haven't got anything uh, assigned to the specific category, then the third drop-down won't be uh, activated. Now, the number of select options is entirely up to you. You can have as many as you want. We will only be working with three of them. So obviously, if you select something else here, then we go the shoes category seem to have some other subcategories. That's why it's displaying if I change this one to select one. The following one, because there's only one becomes uh, disabled. If there were more select options, obviously all of them would become disabled. And the same if we obviously change the first one, the following ones are disabled now. So if we go to our editor with the exercise files, again, you have access to CSS folder with a core.css file, which has uh, some default styling already uh, placed inside of it. Then we have index.php, and JS folder with core.js, which is blank, and the latest version of jQuery. We're going to start with our index.php. In between the opening and closing body tags, we're going to start with the div with the ID of wrapper. Inside of div, uh, this wrapper, we're going to start with the form with the action set to blank, method set to post, and that's it. Then we go for the first select, uh, which will have a name of gender, ID of gender, and class update. We will put a option inside of it, value blank, and then select one. Now, if we copy the entire uh, select uh, section, we play, uh, paste it twice underneath, we're going to change the name of the second one to category. And then the last one to color. And rather than having select one, let's just display four hyphens for both of these. We also need to make them disabled. So I'm just going to put on a new line so you can see things a little bit clearer. We have disabled equals disabled. And the same thing goes for the third select as well. So now our uh, form is ready. If we move to the next video, uh, we're going to populate the first drop-down menu with some values from the database.